Marshall and welcome back to another episode of the vlog. So today we're going to be doing a walk from the beach into Los Corrales and we're going to go in right over here and we're going to come out on the other side of the pirate boat pier. Now, um, just to situate you, uh, the Malia, Lopasan, and Barcelo resorts are, if I'm facing the ocean, to my right. So if you're at any of those resorts, you want to start walking to your left. And we're going to walk right through Las Corrales and point out some points of interest along the way. I should mention that uh, today's video is... Uh, Sponsored by a wonderful couple we met at breakfast this morning from Burlington who were um, inquiring about beach walks and we got to talking about Las Corrales and uh, I promised I would uh, make a video about how to get to Las Corrales and that's what we're doing. So, first things first, uh, we're about, I'd say one football field away from the pirate ship uh, pier. Uh, so when you start getting close to the pier, when you're about a football field away, look up on the beach and you'll see a bunch of pink. This is the Flamingo Bar and there's also a big sign that says Shopping Center. When you see that, you know you're in the right place. So just to the right of the Flamingo Bar, you will see kind of two white buildings. I'm going to show them to you now. And right between those two buildings is a walking path, and that's uh, where we're going to begin our journey. Over here, you're going to see there is a restaurant, and uh, I'm told that restaurant's quite good, so uh, well worth visiting if uh, that's your thing. And you can see here is the entrance, and we're going to be heading right down this road over here, and uh, hopefully there'll be a little less wind. There we go. So the question we always hear is, is it safe? Is this dangerous? And you're probably safer here than you are at home. Uh, the crime rate in Punta Cana is very, very low. So uh, don't have any concerns in terms of personal safety. Uh, I've never experienced any problems doing this walk. So here we go, enough of my mug. Let's uh, focus on the walk at hand. And um, just to uh, give you a little uh, information about where you're walking, these are all private condo buildings you see here. So this is typically people who will come to Punta Cana and stay for a long term, uh, two months, three months, some stay all year. So uh, this is where they would live, which is the reason why there's so many restaurants and bars and stores in this area is because it's to uh, provide services to the people who live in the condominiums who are not in all-inclusive resorts. Myself, I prefer an all-inclusive resort, but everybody has their own specific circumstances and some people prefer to do their own cooking and cleaning, so uh, nothing wrong with that. And by the way, it is a beautiful walk. Look around here. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous area. Now we're gonna walk right to the end of the street where we see Spider-Man over there. Now I hate to use that as a landmark because Spider-Man tends to move around a bit, but uh, today that's where he is and I'm assuming he's gonna be there for the season. And look here, we have a stray dog who's coming along for the ride. Uh, look, looks kind of friendly. Now, we've reached the end of the road. What we want to do is go to our right. Now we could go down, simply walk down the road here, but I much prefer going right through this gateway here and just walking along this alleyway here. There's nice flowers, it's quite pretty. I should also point out uh, this beautiful complex here, and this is the Joy Eat Good Feel Good restaurant. Let me tell you, this is a great place to come and have a beer. Look at this beautiful, I mean, look at these surroundings. It's, it's something else, it's just gorgeous. Got a nice table here in the shade. Just go inside, they'll serve you a beer. Wonderful place. So we have a gardener here, so I'm just gonna go back onto the road so I don't disturb his work. Uh, 
again don't worry about your personal safety uh, you know be aware of your surroundings of course but you'll see a lot of people walking we're gonna cross them as uh, we make our way to Los Corrales and everybody's pretty chill and you know there's never really any problems now this is where you're gonna start to panic a bit maybe it's a long road it's uh, lined with palm trees on each side and it's quite busy no worries just move over to the side like Trish is doing here and uh, get out of harm's way and let the cars go by some people still walk on the road uh, but as you can see it's quite busy today there we go back on the road we are And I should share some news about uh, our vlog that's quite interesting. And that is that we now have a website dedicated to Punta Cana travel information. We just launched it and you'll find all of my videos there and you'll find uh, a lot of useful information about Punta Cana. And the website is called puntacanatraveltips.com. I'm going to put a link to it in the description section. Pretty easy to remember in terms of a website name. And uh, I think you're really going to enjoy all of the information on there, especially if you're staying at Lopasan, if you're staying at Malia, you're staying at Barcelo. Anywhere in that area, you're going to find a lot of really useful and actionable travel information, places to go on hikes, uh, little villages to visit. So I hope you'll uh, take some time to visit that. It's PuntaCanaTravelTips.com. So here, uh, this is new this year. We have a... Uh, hello, how are you? How are you? Oh, very good. Thank you. Okay? Having a great day. I don't need a taxi right now. Thank you. Um, you see how friendly the Dominican people are? It's just a, a really nice place to visit. So, um, you know what? I just lost my train of thought. Uh, that's okay. So we're going to keep walking here uh, to get to the store. And we have a few things uh, to share. Now, of course, anybody who's a regular viewer of my channel will know that... Uh, I live and die for Clamato juice, the Devil's Tomato Juice. And, um, you know, it's not easy to find in Punta Cana. Mind you, it's gotten easier in the last few years. So uh, I'm going to show you where you can uh, find supplies in Clamato juice. And that would be right over here. I'll let this gentleman go by. Oh, a car actually stopped for me. That's a first in Punta Cana. So we'll just uh, come across here. Now you're going to see this little supermarket. It's called... Oh my God, I don't think I'm even going to try to pronounce the long name. Let's go with the uh, short name. It's the Irina Market. And that little store literally has everything. So if you're looking for food, drinks, potato chips, wine, Clamato juice, it's all there. We have a couple of nice little eateries and a gift shop if you need a beach bag. But there's something here I want to draw your attention to, and it's this complex over here. So we're going to go up the stairs, and this is important. This is one I think, there's a couple of restaurants and everything, but the really important thing is at the end here they have a 24 hour a day full service pharmacy and that is really important you know if you're having any kind of an emergency and you need medicine in a hurry uh, this pharmacy is your go-to place look how beautiful it is and it can get your prescriptions and you got drugs so just a beautiful pharmacy um, and uh, in a pinch if you need one 24 hours a day this is open so now you know how to get to that and you got a nice big inflatable mascot there for I guess that's for the pharmacy and heading on 
towards Las Corrales. Now, I've mentioned this in past videos, really, really be careful when you walk around here, uh, where you walk, and um, because, yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure issues here. And here's more restaurants. Now, during the day, this area is a little quieter. At night, it just comes alive. Saturday nights, this place, live bands, music, a lot of, uh, a lot of hustle and bustle. And if you're here on a Saturday night, Cat's Corner, this restaurant over here, very, very popular. And they have live music on Saturday nights and the place is jam-packed. Uh, very, very, very popular. Now, across from Cat's Corner, uh, I have to point this out because it's quite dangerous. Uh, as you can see over here, the infrastructure, look at that. You can go right, oh, right down that. So that's why you have to be careful walking here, not to fall into those uh, manholes because uh, some are rusted out, some are just flat out broken. So just be mindful of that. And uh, yeah, look, uh, it's busy here today. And this is new this year. This is a brand new restaurant. It's called Bistro de Paris. And a brand new addition to Las Corrales for 2024. And we have another Spider-Man. Now, I know there's a sign here that says pharmacy, but it's... Uh, it's not as, uh, let's say, a fully f as fully functional of, of a pharmacy as the one we just looked at. So here we have more restaurants, but I got to show you where the really good restaurants are. And here's something I mention every single year. <laughs> it's this building. It's still under construction. This thing has been under construction since pre-pandemic and it hasn't moved. It's like a big white elephant at this point. I don't know if they're gonna finish it someday, but it's kind of sad. If they are working on it, uh, they're going rather slow. Okay, we're gonna try to cross. And here we have, ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Classic Punta Cana. Here we have what I refer to as Restaurant Row. And here's our favorite uh, area for dining. Uh, this is Napoli. It's an uh, Italian restaurant. Right next to it is Stop Play. And then we come to our favorite restaurant which is Don Pio's. We love coming here for drinks. We love coming here for just hanging out, sitting down, having a cold beer, and watching the traffic go by. This gentleman here. Uh, How you he, doing? How are you? Good? He will welcome you to Don Pio's and come and see him. He'll get you a nice cold beer. He'll set you up with some food. He can sit outside. Great place. So we'll come back and we're just doing a video today, but you're doing good? Yeah, no problem. Hey, always happy to see you. Don't forget when you got some night tours, when okay. you enjoy a little bit around here. So, you, you hear, heard it here first. If you come to Don Pio and also you're looking to book tours, this gentleman would be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll be back. So, here's the old BAM grocery store and uh, that's closed unfortunately and we have a restaurant here named Dallas and Dolce good pizza if you want some good Italian food I highly recommend Dolce it is a very very good restaurant and now we're at Luma which is for sale so obviously that didn't make it and citrus now citrus is kind of closed right now so they got their shades down but at night this restaurant is absolutely incredible okay so that's it for restaurant row and now moving right along we are going to head back to the beach and show you a few new stores along the way that have opened in 2024 so to try to help the local business community 
and we've got some infrastructure issues here so we're just going to step around and as you can see the sidewalks here are very very narrow not to mention slippery i just slipped back there And um, the street we're going, about to go down is, uh, has two features. One, it, it's mostly condominium buildings where you can stay you know, for a longer term stay. But it now is, we're seeing a lot of retail opening here, new retail, so that's exciting. So we're just gonna step around here. We've got a few new restaurants up here. We can do another vlog about those. I haven't uh, visited them yet. And now this street, I just took a turn to the right, it leads right back to uh, the beach. So when you get to the end of the road, you're just going to pop right out onto the beach again. Uh, it's uh, such an easy walk and you get to see a lot of new things. And look, a new restaurant up here. This place is booming. I got to tell you, there's so much development from year to year in Punta Cana. Uh, every year you come and you're just amazed about how many new businesses have opened, how things have changed, the growth. The, look at these new buildings going up. These are all condos you can rent right near the beach. Just uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, to see uh, the Dominican economy thriving and the country progressing. Uh, just warms your heart. Okay, so over here, we have a new supermarket, and I mentioned this in a video last year. So this is brand new, great place to get uh, supplies. And across the street is uh, a new gift shop. Uh, we'll just go have a quick look at this. So if you're looking for souvenirs, look at this shop. Uh, it's got nice cover-ups, it's got all kinds of nice things, and uh, yeah, I think I might come back and visit this shop. It's quite quaint. And right next to it, we have the Yoda Boba Tea Shop. I think this is a bubble tea. Or, yeah, it looks like a bubble tea shop, so that's new. A lot of exciting development going on in Punta Cana. So, we're working our way back to the beach. We're going to go on to the side here where it's a little safer. And uh, okay, for those of you looking for live music, I met a gentleman on the beach yesterday, uh, or actually a few days ago, no, I think it was yesterday, and he mentioned this place. It's the Riviera Punta Cana, and it's got a bar restaurant here at the back. I'm gonna go see if I can have a quick look at that. And apparently, they have uh, Dominican bands play here on the weekends and he said it's the best Dominican music he's heard so let's go have a look at this I've never been back here and oh look at this it is beautiful back here Wow this is nice look at this and I assume that when they have live music, it happens back there. And they got a beautiful bar. Wow, I think I'm gonna come here on a weekend and uh, do a vlog with when the music's playing. It's uh, really, really beautiful. Okay, let's keep moving on. So this is the Riviera Punta Cana condo complex and a great spot if you want some live entertainment some live music authentic authentic Dominican vibe this is where you want to be and I should mention Los Corrales <laughs> there's a lot of bars that have live music on the weekend sometimes even during the week so uh, if you're staying at a resort and you really want to experience a real Dominican bar with Dominican music and most of the people who are going to be there are going to be from all over the world there's going to be some local people from Dominican Republic there's going to be people from Europe from North America it's just a real mix of people so it's a really nice multicultural experience and 
another um, business I want to mention is, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you want to rent a condo for a longer stay. Uh, this little office here is called the Beach Garden Condos. They might be able to help you find something. There's a lot of little uh, companies that have popped up that help match consumers with condominiums for longer term stays. So it's good to try to seek those out. If ever I get contact information for them, I'll uh, certainly share that. Now, here's the latest supermarket in this area. And I gotta tell you, this nice supermarket, and it is quite well stocked. I've been in here. Uh, all the staples are there. It's literally a little grocery store. But the beauty of it is, look at the beach. It's right there. So you can get to the supermarket within a five minute walk from the beach. And you're gonna see that because we're gonna pop out of the beach here uh, any second. So again, I wanna remind everybody to visit our website, which is puntacanatraveltips.com. And um, it's a great uh, site with a lot of information. Here's a nice little restaurant, little bar, get some food. And one last little thing. Um, if you like this video, uh, please take a moment and hit the like button. Uh, that really, really helps us a lot. But what helps us even more is subscribing to our channel. Um, I am trying to reach the 1,000 uh, subscriber mark. I'm getting close, but I'm not quite there. So uh, if you can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, that would be really, really appreciated. Now, there might be a little bit of wind noise here. We're getting close to the uh, getting close to the beach. We're at Zoho. And now we're back on Bavaru Beach and uh, things are kind of choppy today because we're at high tide and uh, it's quite windy. And as promised at the beginning of the video, there's a pirate boat pier. We just went from one side of it to the other. We did like a big U shape out in Las Corrales. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed filming it, having tons of fun. Punta Cana in 2024 is as good as it's ever been, even better. So we'll catch you in the next vlog. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you later.